You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to solve the problem involving an elica spring that is displayed on the screen. And the question says, draw two complete turns of a elica spring or circular cross section of 10 millimeter diameter. The spring edges and pitch are 6 and 60 respectively. So when you see a kind of question this way, the first thing you have to do, right, is to detect if you are told to draw a left hand elegant spring or a right hand elegant spring. So what you should do is you draw your vertical and horizontal line this way. In this manner, I have the long one this way. I can use this. Hope you can see that and i'll draw the other one this way too now on this we don't have an internal diameter nor do we have an external diameter or outer diameter so we need to calculate for this so first of all after doing this i need to get the diameter both internal and external right so what we'll do is we'll write out the parameters. So the first one given here, we're given the number of tons, which is two. And the next thing we're given here, we're given the circular cross section, which is 10 millimeter, right? Then um, I'll use a small d to represent it. And we have what they call the spring index, which is given as six. I'll be using c to represent the spring index. And we have what is called the pitch. Right, and that's given as what 60 millimeter. These are the parameters that were given. So, for which to calculate both the internal diameter and the external diameter, we need to get the mean diameter. Now, the question is the mean diameter is just um, the average of the highest and the lowest diameter, that is, the average of the outer plus the inner diameter divided by two. When you divide by two, you get the average. So let's get the mean diameter. So since the outer and the inner diameter is not given, what we'll do is recall, we know that the mean diameter is given as the spring index times what? Times the cross section, the circular cross section. Is that okay? And that will be six times 10 because the spring index is six and the circular cross section is given to be what? Given to be 10. So my mean diameter is now given to be what? 60 millimeter so the first thing i will do here is to draw my mean diameter in this manner so i'll take my meter rule and i'll measure from zero half of 60 is what is 30. can you see that and if i'm to draw it here i'll be using more like a dotted line this way just like this So that you see is our what our mean diameter now after calculating for the mean diameter the next thing we need to get the outer diameter so to get the outer diameter is given as what the mean diameter plus what the circular cross-sectional area right so this will be 60 plus 10 and we're having what 70 so meaning that my outer diameter is 70 so I'll take half of 70 which is 35 can you see that? And I'll place it at the center. And I'm going to draw this this way. Hope you can see that. I'll draw it that way. Hope you can see that. I'm not completing it. I'm just drawing part of it. Now, the next one, we need to get the inner diameter, right? Which is given as what? The mean diameter minus the area cross section. And that will be 60 minus 10. And that is what? 50 millimeter so i'm going to take half of it again half of 50 to get the inner one which is 25 then i put it at the center here i am going to get the inner diameter here hope you can see that is that the key 
Now we've got in the outer diameter, the mean diameter, and the internal diameter. These are taken. So you need to understand that the spring index you have here is the relationship between the what, the mean diameter and the wire diameter. So let's just move forward. The next step is for you to divide this into six equal parts. You know if you complete it. Since I'm focusing here, if I should complete it this way, let me show you something. If I should complete it this way. Now we have two parts of the circle. The left hand side, the right hand side, and what the left hand side. So if I'm projecting the left hand side, it means I want to draw a left hand elica spring. But if I'm projecting the right hand semicircle this way, it means I want to draw what a right hand elica spring. But in this video, since we are not told what to do, so I'll be drawing what a left hand elica spring. Now I'll divide this into six from here to this point, right? And you place it at this edge here, and you mark up, then you mark down. You come here also, you mark left, and you come here also, mark right. So from here, I'll just come to this point. Draw this. Draw this. To be a flat line. Draw this. And this. Hope you can see that. Now, after we have done all this, what we're focusing on will be all these points. So I'll call here to be point one, this point zero, point one, point two, point three, four, five, and what six. I'll be projecting the mean diameter, not the outer, neither the inner one, but what the mean diameter. But before that, let me get what the pitch is, right? Now we're giving the pitch to be what, 60. So since we're giving 2 ton, means that you multiply 60 by 2, right? So let's do that and see. So if I place it this way, if I should um, extend this this way from here, then I'm going to draw my pitch out. So from 0 to 120 is the pitch. So if I move from 0 here to 60 is one pitch. Then to 120 is another pitch. Everything makes a lead, right? So this is what I have here. So what I'll simply do is I should be able to extend this this way. And also, extend it this way. Can you see that? And close it up to this way. So meaning, from here to here is one pitch, and from here to here is another word, another pitch. Now there are different ways you can divide this line. You can use the line division method, or you can just use the manual where I want to show you. So I'll do one man, I'll do this to be manual and I'll use this one as my line division. So let's try this and see. If I should come here, since a circle, a complete one ton is 12. When you divide a circle into 12, one ton is 12, then this half ton here. So one twelve is one ton is what is 12. So I'll divide here to here to be what? 12. So 12 divided by 60. Since the pitch is 60, 12 divided by 60 will give us what? 5 millimeter each. Right, because 5 times 60 is 12. So I'll start by this. So this would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and what? 60. Can you see that? And I'm going to project it up. See what I'm about to do.
Can you see that? Now, the other one does for simplicity sake and for to enhance understanding because not every time you be given an even number that can divide by 12 and you have a, a, a whole number. Sometimes you might give you might give an odd number that when you divide it to be having fraction. So that way your line division will work. Right? So let me just show you how to do your divide using your line division. At the pitch from here, if I was drawing from here, I'd have project from here. But since I'm starting from here, I want to get from here to here. I will just draw an inclined line this way. In this manner. Can you see that? And once I've done that, I will now divide the line at any given radius. I'll divide the line into 12. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and what? 12 here. Is that the key? Then if it is 12, then what you simply do here is you join the last point to this point here because you are aiming here to here so you join here to this point here can you see that and you join so once you've joined you will not take your other metal rule or your rule and you place it at this side hope you see what i'm showing you place it at this side yeah so you're moving this on that point there Hope you can see that. Now the next thing we'll do is, you see, you have a choice to use this method or this method, depending on the dimension that you've been given. So I'll just join everything the way I did. Hope you can see that. So once you've done that, now we'll not start. This is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. You start again. So if I'm doing that, so what I'll do, I've already project zero. Then I'll move to the next one, which is one. From here, go to one. Is the line of one then the next one the line of two the three is already there we'll go to the line of four then we'll go to line of five then six is there so where one meets one where two meet two where three meet three where four meet four where five meet five where six meet six right you come again five four three two one zero so five will meet five again four will meet four again three will meet three again two will meet two again one will meet one again then zero then it starts again one we meet one two we meet two 3, we meet 3 here, 4, we meet 4, 5, we meet 5, 6, we meet 6, come again, 5, meet 5 again, 4, meet 4, 3, meet 3, 2, meet 2, 1, meet 1, then this is 0, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, zero. so it's just moving this manner, I would do, so once you've done that, this is what we have now we're not giving a cross section right you say the cross section the circular cross section is 10 millimeter 
concession means when you cut for instance this is my pencil let me say i now cut it into two i cut it into two by the time i look at it this place you see here is my cross section that is the thickness is that okay now so we're told that the cross section of this is 10 millimeter so i'll just measure half of 10 which is 5 so from 0 to 5 can you see that and i'm going to place it at every point here from 0 i'll do for 1 i'll do at every given point from 3 i'll do So this is all we have so now what you do is before I proceed please viewers if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the like button also subscribe to this channel and share the video to those who are in need of it so now we've done this right now you now take your french curve and draw your line tendential to all these points you see this is what i'm going to do here now with my pencil and with my French cuff, I'm going to join. So this is what uh, we have here. This is two tons of wood and elica spring, right? So you can just decide to do your dimensioning from this point you know here is the pitch this is the pitch the pitch p is equals to what 50 millimeter right so i can just so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching